Hi everybody, it's Terry Ryder from Hotspotting bringing you our weekly feature, this time every week on a Tuesday evening, Hotspot of the Week. And tonight I'm going to focus on a location um, where I have to overcome a certain amount of reluctance to talk about in terms of a, a budding hotspot. Um, that's because it has um, some strong links to the resources sector and therefore has a higher element of risk than is normally the case in locations that we're comfortable to recommend. Um, so I'm going to be talking today about Mackay in central Queensland and uh, I'm not necessarily suggesting that it's a place that you sh should rush out and um, buy investment property in. I'm just um, bringing it to your attention as a place that's um, significant in certain ways. Uh, we're, we're now starting to see recovery in some of the Queensland regional centres that have previously been negatively impacted by the downturn in the resources sector and or uh, changes in the way that mining companies um, staff their, their projects, uh, fly and fly out, etc., cetera, and uh, to a certain degree um, oversupply in the past by developers that overreacted to the previous resources boom. So all these things mean high risk and a number of people have bought in places like Gladstone and the coal mining town of Moranbar and really suffered as a result because um, when the previous boom turned south, values dropped a lot. Mackay has been um, perhaps, perhaps less um, impacted by, by those factors, but nevertheless, values did fall, vacancies rose, and Mackay has been, has suffered in terms of its property market and its economy, but it's on the way back. The significance for me in Mackay is that it's leading the recovery in those particularly central Queensland regional towns and cities that were previously in downturn. And it's, um, it's showing some, some fairly significant performance in its economy and as a consequence of that in its property market. So I think it's something that um, people who are taking an interest in property investment should be aware of. So for better or for worse, here's my uh, summation of why Mackay might be worthy of consideration by some investors, at least particularly those who are comfortable to take on an element of risk in the context of a, a broader portfolio. So. Yeah, Mackay is one of those markets that was previously impacted by downturn in the resources sector. It's now recovering, definitely. It's, it's ahead of most locations in terms of recovery. Uh, what we have seen, and in particular, is a big drop in unemployment. We've also seen a big drop in vacancy rates in the property market. And we're also seeing some solid population growth, all very, very positive factors for the Mackay economy. Um, there are also indications that this upcycle is not as much driven by the mining sector. There are, there are other industries that are part of the current rise in the Mackay economy. That's another reason why I'm perhaps um, a little bit more prepared to include Mackay in some of our, our hotspots reports. Uh, last time Mackay had a, had a boom, it was very heavily driven by the mining sector. It, it's close to uh, the Bowen Basin where a lot, of, uh, a lot of mining activity takes place. It's also got a significant export port just outside the, the city of Mackay. Uh, but this time around, it seems that um, the uh, Mackay economy is gathering some imp impetus from some other industries, not just mining. There's construction, there's logistics, there's uh, agriculture and tourism, all significant in this area. And uh, so we're not seeing that massive mining driven upsurge that we saw previously, which is um, would make us suspicious of another sort of boom bust cycle. This is something that's um, happening in a little bit more controlled and moderate way, uh, which makes me a little bit more comfortable about it. Um, the mining industry is still very pertinent um, and the improvement in commodity prices and the revitalization of some projects in central Queensland um, are also part of the, the current uplift in the Mackay economy and from that, the improvement in the property market. Um, so generally speaking, in the Mackay region, uh, the mining sector and sugarcane farming are very important parts of the local economy. Um, 
engineering, manufacturing, and other services which service those two industries um, are big employers in Mackay. It's got Queensland's fourth largest multi-commodity export port, which exports uh, agricultural products, grain, as well as mining products. Um, it's considered the gateway to the Whitsunday Islands, so uh, tourism is very important. It's got a very major marina, which can is capable of berthing about 500 um, yachts and other watercraft, including super yachts, it's got two university campuses, a major hospital, three really big shopping centres, an airport which is serviced by Qantas, Virgin and Jetstar. And in the past 12 months, there have been about 750,000 passengers through the Mackay Airport, which is up 4% on the year before. One of the big things um, is the massive improvement in unemployment. Um, towards the end of 2015, the un local unemployment rate was officially listed as 8.5% well above the state average but now it's about a little bit about three percent which was well below the state average so there's been something significant happening in the Mackay economy uh, such as things that i've just previously mentioned it's also projected by um, the state government um, statistician's office to have um, significant upcoming population growth uh, Mackay currently has a population of about 115,000 and uh, it's a projected population and about 15 or 18 years time is 171,000. So significant growth projected. Um, and um, so those factors are all feeding into big improvement in the Mackay property market. Unemployment is much better. Vacancy rates, partly as a consequence of that, have fallen a lot. Um, a few years ago, the vacancy rate in Mackay is around 9%. Um, about a year ago, it fell below that com comfort zone of 3%, and that's continued to fall. And right now, the postcodes that make up the city of Mackay all have vacancy rates of 2%, between 1% and 2%. Most of them are closer to 1% than 2%. So quite a tight rental market there. Now, big improvement on where it was, say, um, three years ago. We've also seen an uplift in uh, demand in the market. We've seen sales volumes improve a lot. A couple of years ago uh, in Mackay, in a typical year, we we're probably getting about 250 uh, house sales. Uh, but in the last 12 months, 350 has been more common. So that's, sorry, that's per quarter, 250 per quarter a couple of years ago. Um, but gradually that's improved and now we're at a level where we're getting more than 350. So quite a big uptick in demand and that's starting to translate into some price growth. Um, most of the suburbs in the Mackay region and the towns just outside Mackay have had some level of price growth in the last 12 months. Um, there's one suburb where the median price is up 16%, although that's not the norm. The norm was more 4, 5, 6%. Um, South Mackay is up 8%. Um, but the significant thing is that we've seen a return to price growth after several years of where all the price growth figures had a, a minor sign in front of them. So in other words, prices have been falling in recent years. Um, affordability is a factor. Uh, a number of the uh, suburbs of Mackay median house prices in the 200,000s and then there are others in the sort of low to mid 300,000. So very affordable market, particularly for investors coming out of the southern capitals. Rental yields look very attractive. Most suburbs and towns in the Mackay precinct have median rental yields around somewhere between five and a half and six percent on houses. Um, so, I mean, just just as an example, pick a couple of suburbs to illustrate some of those points. North Mackay, the suburb of North Mackay, uh, median house price now of 270,000 after 5% growth in the last 12 months, and the median rental yield for houses is 5.8%. Um, South Mackay, median price is now 295,000 after growth of 8% in the last 12 months, and the median rental yield is 5.6%. So low vacancies, rising demand, prices starting to rise, but still very affordable and good rental yield. So, from that respect, definitely worth considering. What's coming up in the future? Well, it's starting to look better and better. Um, it's a, Mackay is a key service hub for central Queensland. 
There's no doubt about that. It's a key centre for tourism, for agriculture and for the mining sector, including the presence of the big export port. Um, there are quite a few projects coming up, um, sort of small to medium scale construction projects, residential estate, aged care facilities, uh, sports facilities. There's also quite a big um, road project funded by the state government, the $500 million Mackay Ring Road project, which is being built in a couple of stages. Um, so what our research reveals is about $1.3 billion in state and federal funding has been committed to road infrastructure upgrades in the Mackay region between now and the year 2022, so over the next three years. We've also got a major project in the centre of Mackay, the Mackay Waterfront Precinct, which is a state priority development project uh, to revitalise the CBD with recreation, tourism, lifestyle and investment opportunities for private enterprise. That's uh, something, a project that's expected to begin next year. Um, and of course, we have the mining sector in the nearby Bowen and Galilee basins. Um, and uh, there's about 40 operational mines in that region currently with another 17 in the pipeline in various stages of planning and approval. Um, so that's going to give further impetus to the economy of Mackay as they crank up and um, certain, um, I guess a certain number of the workforce for those evolving mining projects will come out of Mackay and nearby towns and uh, regional cities. Um, just just a small warning as well, um, or two really, buying in a market like Mackay, the first one is it has a higher level of volatility than your typical regional centre that we like to recommend because of its links to the mining sector. So it's higher risk, so be mindful of that. It's, it's, it's boomed before and it's gone bust. It's been through uh, the last few years of declining prices. That can happen again, be mindful of it. The other warning is around insurance because it's up in that zone where there are ten, high tendency of floods and cyclones and that means your insurance premiums are much higher than are normal. But overall, Mackay sort of is standing out for us um, because we've been watching and waiting for the last several years for some signs of better things in those sort of central Queensland towns and regional cities that were adversely impacted by the downturn in the resources sector. And Mackay is undoubtedly the centre that's leading the recovery. There are other centres that are where things are looking better, such as Emerald and maybe Dolby, Rockhampton starting to show more life. Gladstone, uh, unfortunately, still hasn't really sparked a life. Even though vacancies are down in Gladstone, it hasn't really um, started um, any, shown any signs of uplift in sales activity or prices. But Mackay certainly has, and so it's starting to look stronger. And from the viewpoint of um, improving economy, much lower unemployment, increasing sales activity, affordable prices, attractive rental yields, certainly worth considering, but always keep in mind it has got that higher level of risk. You've got to be mindful of that when you're considering a location like Mackay. Okay, that's it for now. Mackay, our uh, hotspot of the week. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about it, you can go to the Hotspotting website and go to the Location Reports page and you'll see a report there on Mackay. Um, and I urge you to access that and um, get a more detailed appraisal of, of why we think this, this market is, is one that's at least worthy of consideration. That's it for now. Terry Ryder completing this week's edition of Hotspot of the Week. Let's do it again, same time next week.